the biggest booking mistake of the Triple H era was having Cody Rhodes lose at WrestleMania 39. There is no question that had you had him win in that match against Roman Reigns, he would have been one of your biggest stars in the entire company. Yet here we are almost a year later, and there seems to be no progress being made on the Cody Rhodes character. And there were people, myself included, who thought last year that if you had Cody lose, you could tell a more compelling story. Because everything that Cody has been building up everything that Cody has said and go back to his mission statement in that first promo he had on Monday Night Raw when he returned after Mania 38 he was speaking on an emotional level about what this title means and the way that I thought and I wanted the story to go honestly was for Cody to win in the end but face challenges along the way we obviously had a big challenge in the injury that he ended up suffering but I always thought that if you're WWE, you could tell a much more emotional story if you had Cody lose the first time, crushing his world. His entire world came crashing down on him. And then he slowly but surely builds his way back up, similar to what happened with Hangman Page. Hangman Page, the first time he went for the title, he didn't win. And right after that, his entire world, his friendships, everything came crashing down on him. And I always thought, Cody losing, you could do a similar thing where Cody, like, he's on a downward spiral. And you don't know, you don't think he's going to actually finish the story. It's a failure. Everyone's coming out and telling him, Cody, you don't got what it takes. Cody, you're a failure. Triple H, his hero, his idol coming out to him and telling him, uh, kid, I don't know if you got what it takes. You could have built that story going into this year's WrestleMania to be something that is, to quote Cody Rhodes, undesirable to un-goddamn deniable. But for the past year, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen a good story told with Cody. Everything that's happened over the past year has been filler. Cody's journey? After WrestleMania started with Brock Lesnar fighting him because reasons? There is no rhyme or reason for anything Cody has done since WrestleMania 39. None. And it not only is an indictment, I think, on, on WWE's booking of Cody Rhodes over the past year, but it completely undermines any and all of the work that you, WWE, as a company, have, have invested and put in to Cody Rhodes. And it pisses me off, man. WWE should have put the belt on Cody because they didn't have the patience. They didn't have the wherewithal. They, Triple H is a very good booker. Significantly better than Vince McMahon. But he did not book this Cody's thing right. And it's frustrating because I love Cody Rhodes. I, I legitimately love this dude. And, and, and the character that he is... And the story and the way that WWE and, and Cody started this story was epic. The prodigal son returning. Coming home to prove the doubters wrong. Doing the impossible by leaving all elite wrestling. Coming back and claiming his place at the head of the table. Yet here we are. None of that's happening. And we are faced with a, a Cody world title run that just seems robotic. And it might just be me. I, tell me if I'm wrong. It might just be me. But I feel like we're going through the motions. We lost the plot. And it's just Cody needs to win because Cody needs to win. That's just how it should be. But there's no kayfabe reason. And... As much as it's going, like, it's, I'm going to cheer and I'm going to be happy. But I feel like along the way, there is so much, so much that could have been done better. That I'm just sitting here, like, thinking about how easy it would have been to give at least what he was doing over the past year a reason. Say, so let's say we do get the, the story finished. We're going to WrestleMania. WWE's going to put on a great video package. 
and everyone's gonna like buy into the hype by the time the match starts because WWE is great at doing that. Like that, they are effective at playing a, a dope ass video package, putting it in front of you, and just being like, oh my god, forget everything you saw on TV, this is all that matters. And it's going to be a moment. It would have just been a way more epic moment if it had a better story behind it. It just doesn't have a story. We've lost the plot. It sucks. Honestly, even the Brock stuff, I didn't get. Like, it was sure, it was cool to see Brock versus Cody. And their last match at SummerSlam was a banger. I loved it. But what was the reason? Why I still, to this day, don't get. Why did Brock attack Cody? If you know, please educate me in the chat. Why did Brock attack Cody? Don't you dare tell me it's because respect. No one can explain to me why it happened. And if you can't explain to me why it happened, then it probably didn't have a reason. And if it didn't have a reason, why was it on my TV screen? Tell me when I'm telling lies.